know our next guest from uh, a show I used to watch her on, Northern Exposure. Uh, now she's turned her attention to radio. She has a talk show on iHeartRadio, and she also has a new book that is just out, a memoir entitled A Little Bit Vulnerable on Hollywood, God, Sobriety, and Politics. She is Janine Turner. Janine, we welcome you to America's Forum, and it's uh, great to have you with us, joining us from Dallas today. Oh, hi, J.D. and Francesca. It's great to be on the show. Uh, Janine, what inspired you to write this book? Well, what inspired me? I, I, I think that I have a collection. I, I've lived sort of a broad life. It's funny because Rob Morrow tweeted a photo of the two of us yesterday, who was my co-star in Northern Exposure from a throwback. And there, and there we are in a photo session, and it just brought back all these memories. And so I was collecting all the um, poetry that I wrote during my times of Hollywood and, and heartbreak and early sobriety. And, and then I have all the Federalist essays, where I've written essays on the Federalist Papers, which of course were written by Alexander Hamilton, John Jay, and James Madison explaining the Constitution. Then I have all these opinion editorials, and then I have my sobriety, and then my father died while I was writing the book, so I wrote sort of a C.S. Lewis version of a, a grief uh, observed. So I just put it all together in one book. And, and uh, afterwards, my daughter, I, I wrote, I said, yeah, I feel a little bit vulnerable. And my daughter said, that's the title of the book. So it's, it's to share my experience, strength, and hope um, in, every, in all these different genres, faith in schools, sobriety. I now have 28 years of sobriety, the cyclical and hereditary aspects of sobriety, if I can talk about that and be of service, mm -hmm. as well as I sort of take on, of course, I take on the, the Democrats and the progressive Democrats and the liberals, but I also take on the Republican Party a bit, especially with women and, and how I think what we need to do to survive. And, and then I have a foundation about the Constitution, so my essays talk about how the Constitution is very relevant, very, very relevant today in a nonpartisan way for all Americans, and I just can't stress that enough. So I put it all together. <laughs> now, Ginny, I know you have a, a teenage daughter, Juliet. What do you hope she takes away from this book? You know, uh, my daughter is on her second published book as well. Um, so she's right there with me. Her first book was on the Constitution, Our Constitution Rocks, and it sold so well that Barnes & Noble asked for another one. So her second book's gonna be on the same day as mine called Our President's Rocks. So we're like-minded, and uh, she's very familiar with my Federalist essay. She's the, the National Youth Director of Constituting America. But I think that what was new for her was the poetry. And um, one of the things that we talk about all the time is is how to get through, my poetry talks about, goes through, walks through a depression that I went through and having to just make that decision to reach for the hand of God and, and, and to keep living. And, and, and this was even during sobriety. So, so I think that she saw some of that and, it, and he, she, with through reading the poetry. And, and, and I think that Juliet and I just continue our discussion about sobriety and she never should pick up booze or alcohol. And so I hope she takes away that new, we've always talked about sobriety, but but that angle with my Hollywood poetry, I think, was a little new for her. Well, I'm just kind of curious, Janine. Do you have a healthy mother-daughter com uh, competition when it comes to having books out at the same time? <laughs> yeah, it's great. I, you know, it's really kind of fun. I mean, how many mothers and daughters have their second published books coming out on, you know, September 30th? So it, it, it's a lot of fun. And uh, we, we work side by side. I'm very blessed. I don't know what she's going to do when she goes to college. I, I think I'm just going to have to go with her. Um, Janine, I want to ask you, you spoke at the 2012 Republican Convention and you clearly have a passion for politics. Do you have any plans to speak again in 2016? Oh, well, if they asked me, of course I'd, I would be honored. I, I, what I just would like to bring to the attention with, with the opportunities that I have to, to, to speak is, is just that the Republican Party, we need to garner the women's vote. I mean, and I talk about this a lot in my book. I talk about that, and I talk about that we cannot give up on the legislative branch, which is what the progressive Democrats want. They want us to not have a legislative branch because then there's more executive power, more centralized government. And as down as we are in the legislative branch, it is our branch. We need it. We, those are our representatives. So I talk about that in the book as well, as well as my Truth Act which is to limit the page numbers of these bills. You know, I hear people on, on these shows talking over and over and over and over about all these gigantic problems and how we dissect them and deal with them. And I'm like, well, wait a minute, the answer is very simple. 
you limit the page numbers of these bills the way they used to be to 30 days. Uh, not 30 days, to 30 pages. So the, my TRUTH acronym is 30 pages, a single subjects. Our representatives read these bills, they understand these bills, they testify under oath that they've read and understand the bills, and then we hear them, that they're in the public forum, which Jefferson wanted it to be even for a year, which isn't realistic today, but it's in the public forum where they, it's read on camera, we can read it, and we have time to rebuttal. We're left out of this process, and I think if our legislators do this, then, then we will understand the legislative branch more. Right now, the president goes out with a few sound bites, and everyone thinks, oh, there's there's my father looking out for me. And the legislative branch is so confusing that they're losing the American populace. And if we can just narrow down those bills and make it more simple, I, I think that the legislative branch would, would gain a lot more respect. And as a former member of Congress, I say amen to all of that. Now we've got less than a minute. I understand <laughs> you got a new movie coming out. Can you tell us about it quickly? I do, well, I have two. Uh, I, one, I portray Anthony Hopkins' wife. And um, that was a thrill. A very small role. It's in entitled Solace, and it'll be out next year. And uh, working with Anthony Hopkins was just right up there, one of the top three things of my career. He was generous and fabulous, and I was just nervous as anything, but it turned out well. And the other is an independent movie called Occupy Texas, oh where I play the antagonist. Mercy. we got to check that out. Janine Turner, we thank you. Uh, the box office will be looking for you. And your new book, The Memoir, A Little Bit Vulnerable, on Hollywood, God, sobriety, and politics. Janine, thanks again. We really appreciate it. And speaking of healthy life, here's this morning's Max to Health report. We all have had our own perceptions about yoga. For some, it sounds hippie-ish or something their kid would do, but to others, it's a way of life. Perceptions are not reality, and yoga, no matter what your age, has many medical benefits. You're never too old to start yoga. It's better to start now than to never start at all. Um, and when you start now and you start to gain your practice, you'll become more comfortable when you start doing your yoga practice and you'll find your path. So there's all different types of yoga and whatever you're looking for, whether it's uh, gaining flexibility to de-stressing, to moving from a centered place or even gaining muscle tone, there's so many benefits to it. Go at your own pace. Yoga can be done in a comfortable sitting position, standing up, or lying down. With the slow, gentle movements of yoga, you're able to stimulate and relax every part of the body and alleviate muscle and joint pain. There are also poses designed to improve your digestive system.